Before this video gets started, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my boy. Oh yeah, man. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my boy before this video gets started. Uh, but I'm extremely excited for the video today. Who Game TV, AJ TV. Let's do it. <laughs> Back with another video, and here go my boy AJ. What's up, man? What to do, y'all, man? Oh yeah. Yo, yo. So how you feel about the video today? I don't know if y'all know yet, um, but I'm gonna let AJ describe a little about what we gonna do today. All right, now we gonna um, choose like a homeless person, you know what I'm saying, and uh, help them get some clothes, you know, um, give them a haircut and stuff like that, some food, you know what I'm saying, a few outfits, you know, just some uh, nice, man. You know, a lot of people ain't like that no more, so we gonna do that today. Yeah, man. Like you said, you heard what AJ said, man. I, first, I want to just thank God for allowing me and him to have the opportunity to do something like this and come up with this kind of mindset. Uh, I'm extremely nervous. If you don't know, you can ask AJ. I woke up at like 5 o'clock this morning when it worked out. That's how nervous I was. Uh, but, you know, you, you can just tell the intention is true and, you know, just coming straight from the heart. And honestly, um, before we get this video started, I honestly don't care how y'all feel. If y'all feel like we're just doing it for attention and things like that, we, me and AJ both know our true intention. Um, we come from a great household, and we just always been um, kind of old school, just trying to show our generation how to still be just a, you know, be a decent individual and treat others with respect. All right, how y'all doing, man? I'm, we back. Uh, we have young man Brian right here, man. Our interest we have today, if we're gonna help and everything, you know what I'm saying? Um, like we said, this is not, you know, we're just doing it from the heart. No publicity, stunt, nothing like that. So we're going to take them, give them some food, you know what I'm saying, clothe them, you know what I'm saying, and uh, give them a haircut, make them look good, you know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, this is what we have today. Say what's up, man. What's up, bro? Yeah, anything you'd like to say, man? Yeah. Uh, not much, none for real. Uh, I became homeless about 18 months ago after my parents passed away, and other than that. And I'm extremely sorry for that, man. You know, hopefully uh, after today, we we able to help you, you know, change things around for you and everything and show the community who you are and, you know, help you get a job opportunity or anything we can do for you, buddy. Yeah. So we figure ready to uh, take them, you know, and everything to the barbershop, get them a haircut, you know, yeah. take them go get some clothes and everything. Uh, stuff like that, man. Yeah. Currently in the thrift store and everything, man, we uh, trying to find him, uh, you know, a couple of shorts and short sleeve shirts and everything so he can be a little cool and everything. Cause you know, due to the temperature outside, it's a little cold. I mean, not cold, but hot and everything. So we we're trying to find him something that he's very comfortable with and everything. Then after that, we'll be taking him straight to the barbershop. And man, y'all just don't know how this feel, man. Just an amazing opportunity being able to, you know, do this for this young man and everything. If y'all don't know, he's 23 years old. And, um, you know, that sucks, man. He lost both of his parents. So we just, I'm, man, that's just a blessing, you know, me being able to meet him and things like that, man. Yeah. Michael outfit, man. Yeah. Him, man. All right, go ahead, go show the red shorts. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna show you guys, I'm gonna on see. Yeah. Okay, then. All right, let's see yours, man. <laughs> That's what I got them. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Yeah. Little shorts. You know. Oh, yeah. Save on the fridge available. Everyone knows you can wire the savings you need to be on a family guy. This is the only returns this summer. Stream from the beginning on Peacock. Finally made it to the barbershop and um uh, about yeah, Dylan getting his cut, man. And um it make me feel amazing, man, for real. Like cause that could be me in that situation. You know, Dylan's only uh 23 years old, 23 or 24, but um yeah man, it's just a blessing, man, to do this for him, you know what I'm saying? For my boy Lamarco even have me uh, in this opportunity uh in this situation, have me an opportunity to do this for him together, you know what I'm saying, as a collab. And uh, man, I feel good, man. I feel amazing. I never felt like it was about a video, man, on my channel. Right. 
What it do, Wu Gang TV, man? We at the fade shop and everything. I want to give a huge shout out to them for allowing me to bring Dylan in here to get a haircut and everything. Um, and here goes Dunn. What you like to say, Dunn, you know, about us doing something like this? Uh, trying to show the community different how a young man like us it still exists and everything like that. So, how you feel about that? Just coming to help you out, help anybody out in the community, give a free haircut. And I, I definitely appreciate that, man. You know, uh, you don't find many people who genuine like us anymore. And, you know, it's just an awesome opportunity being able to, you know, uh, have this shop uh, represent uh, what, what we have going for our community. Uh, so it's a huge blessing. I'm going to give a huge shout out to them. And I wish nothing but the best plenty this shop for everyone in, uh, involved within this uh, organization. And, you know, uh, any advice you'd like to say for the channel? Just keep going, man. Keep your head up. Just keep going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Baby. What's the do? Um, what do you do, one gang family? Um, if y'all don't know, we are able to meet Dylan today and every day. Uh, this is incredible, great young man. If y'all don't know, he's 23 years old. Uh, he lost both his parents, and you know, um, it's just crazy that we are able to, to run into him. And you know, um, Wu Gang family, I want to show y'all like always treat everyone, you know, with kindness and love and everything like that. No matter what situation they've been in and things like that, we just want to show people that we believe in them, that we love them, even when they strangers or not. You know, at the end of the day. God want us to come more together as a community, and that's what we try to build. And, you know, that's what I'm trying to build for you, young man, and young ladies. And you know, this is very touching because you know I'm 24 years old. Y'all didn't know he's 23. And, you know, able to uh, being able to make this type of impact, it, it really feels amazing. And I just want to thank everyone that's participating to help me. Uh, you know, to help show what we really want to do for our community, and that is coming straight from the heart. So uh, all glory to God, and I just want to thank you for this opportunity again. Tell me how you how you like um, today and so far. You know what we you know took the opportunity to do and everything. Like how did that make you feel? I, I guess pretty good. You know, coming out of the uh, generous of your heart. You know, taking time out of your day to come into you know either obviously the homeless people or hubos, whatever they call us. You know, but you know to see what the outcome of the picture is. It's pretty good in my heart, for real. That's good. Uh, you enjoyed this stuff today? Yes, sir. That's good, man. Um, another question I ask, um, you know, what you, what, what advice would you like to give to, you know, others like myself and AJ and everyone else? I don't know. It's a big world out there for real. Just uh, try to, I guess, stay on the right path for real. But it's, it, it separates from my dad and, you know, my Uncle David and stuff. So it's like, that's a big fall right there from like what living at home and having houses and then of course i'm only 23 so i'm still just a baby it's like and then i fall all the way over to my uncle david that's another grown man and how the world fits it's like wicked different and strange you know yeah. uh what, what kind of impact did your parents have on you uh i don't know we uh we argued a lot because you know because like a lot of times i want to hang out with friends and Dream or do something, you know, and, and they always were like older and stuff like that, but sick. And uh, he said, You know, you're gonna regret it when I pass away and stuff. And I said, Yeah, I ain't got time to hear and stuff. And when I finally got in trouble my last time, you know, you know, I went to jail. Yeah, he's like, You know, your dad passed away, got to see me out the back door, homeless. He said, I don't want to hear it, Dylan. He said, You gotta go out the back door, you gotta leave. I said, All right, I hear you. No, I mean it's like it's different from the com from the uh, community because you know they try to keep up on their stuff for the most part. It's like, hey, how are you doing? You know, how's your day? You know, you're on 23. That sucks. You know, and, you know we're gonna there's gonna be there's gonna be people around there for you and stuff. And you know, it's uh, a lot. Of, it's a lot different out here though because I see a lot of older people. You know, I see one after one cut and stuff. And uh, and what you want when you come? Yeah. Well, I just want to tell you, man, I'm, I'm just really proud of you, man. You, you're on the right path, man. Just keep your head up and, you know, uh, whatever opportunity God presents to you, I just hope, you know, you know, take a full advantage of it. And, you know, hey, we all deserve second chances. And, you know, I can't wait to see you with your second chance. And, you know, how, how, how do you feel you will approach your second chance if, you know, will God give you one? I don't know. Hopefully we'll place my aunt back in my life. Yeah, I, I have other family members and stuff, but you know, uh, it's, it's it's not the judge. It was a chaplain in the, in the uh, metro. He was like, you're not allowed to be around none of your nieces and nephews or aunts and stuff. 
He said, if they do end up coming back around, he said, you got to stop with the uh, other stuff that you need done in your life. And I was like, yeah, that's usually, it wasn't much, you know, just like drinking a little bit, you know, because, you know, my dad had a drinking problem, and I would like to get drunk a lot, and you know, it's, you know, a bad, bad timeline for it, you know. Mm-hmm. It's been over 18 months, and I ain't been to a funeral, I ain't heard nothing about him whatsoever, and they're like, no, you stay away, you don't come back near, and I was like, all right. So you felt a little neglected then. Kind of. Yeah. Well, you know, um, you know, hopefully uh, we have, hopefully we able to help you reconnect with your aunt or whatever we can. Um, so whoever watching the video, um, hopefully it, it reaches to your family members and you know they they they, um, they 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 can know that you know everyone care about you. You know, definitely me and AJ. You know, we never met you, but you know it's like we've been knowing you uh, knowing you for a long time. And, you know. Whatever we can do, we, we're willing to help you. But thank you a lot, man, and I really appreciate you for allowing us to be around you, man, and, you know, get to know you more and see a different perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, game family, and man, that's the end of the video. Um, Just thank y'all, man, you know, for this opportunity. You know, it's nothing wrong with, uh, when it comes to doing a good deed, man. It's just coming from, truly from the heart. And I'm glad I can include y'all on this, and it will be more videos like this. Um, hopefully, I can get to a point where I can get a couple of athletes to come out with me. And, you know, we can take them all out just so they can see this kind of perspective. And, you know, uh, just to show them that these young men, they have a lot going for themselves. And, you know, just stay on the right path. But uh, thank y'all so much for the love and support. Um, all glory to God again, man. And I just wish Dylan nothing but the best, man. He's a great young man. And I wish someone out there who has a business or anything or, you know, any kind of position that can help him, man. You know, um, you know, he's, he's just a great person. Just wish he just had another chance and someone that believed in him like we all do. And, you know, I'm sorry for the losses that he took. But uh, I, I just wish nothing but success upon that young man. And, but thank y'all so much, Wu Gang. Uh, for the love and support again, and y'all stay blessed, y'all stay tuned, Wu Gang TV.